Hello everyone and welcome to Wondershare Recoverit, a data recovery solution to retrieve different types of deleted files from various storage devices. In today's episode, we'll walk you through different ways to clear caches on Windows 10 or Windows 11 systems to overall speed things up. In case you don't know, caches are temporary files that are usually generated by the system or third-party applications to deliver better performance. But when they continue to pile up for a long time, these caches can also interfere with the regular functionality of your system. That's why it's important to clear them from time to time to keep your system running at optimal performance. So, make sure to press down the subscribe button below and let's dive into this episode of different ways to clear cache files on your computer. First and foremost, we'll take a look at how to clear the update caches in Windows. If you're encountering unexpected errors while trying to update your system, then there's a huge probability you haven't cleared these update caches for a while. So open the file explorer and go to this PC. Then right click on your C drive and select properties. In the properties window, click on disk cleanup under the generals tab. Now click on clean up system files and then in the next window, select the windows upgrade log files and temporary windows installation files checkboxes and tap the OK button to complete the cleanup process. Once the disk cleanup process completes, head over to C drive windows software distribution folder. Here, locate the download folder, right click on it and then select delete to remove the folder from your system. Now this will clear the update caches on your system and you'll now be able to install new software updates without any hassle. After the update caches, you may also want to clear cache data for the Windows Store. Now like the software updates, if you don't clear the Windows Store caches, you may face issues while installing new applications on your Windows system. So here is how to clean the Windows Store cache on both Windows 10 and 11 systems. Press the Windows and R buttons to open the run window. Now type wsreset.exe and press enter. A command prompt window will open on your screen. Wait a few seconds and let the system automatically clear the Windows Store caches. Once this process completes, you'll be prompted to the Windows Store where you can download any applications without any hassle. Among all cache files, clearing temp caches is the most crucial as it can easily speed up the performance of your computer. Now, while there are different ways to clear the temp files cache, we'd recommend using disk cleanup utility to get the job done. Open the search bar and type disk cleanup. Now, if you're using a Windows 11 system, you'll be asked at this point to select which drive you want to run the disk cleanup on. So use the drop down menu to choose the C drive and click OK. You'll be prompted to the disk cleanup window. Now, under the files to delete tab, make sure to check all the boxes and click clear to complete the process. After a while, Windows will display a confirmation message saying that all the cache files have been cleared. Now, thumbnail caches are quite important in a Windows system as they store the information about each thumbnail icon on your computer. However, when this thumbnail cache database goes on for too long, it can potentially get corrupted for various reasons and stop displaying the thumbnails properly. In this situation, you can clear or rebuild the thumbnails cache to troubleshoot the problem. First of all, run the command prompt as an administrator to get started. Then type taskkill forward slash f forward slash im explorer dot exe and press enter. This command will terminate the file explorer process in the background. Now type del forward slash f forward slash s forward slash q forward slash a percentage sign local app data percentage sign backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash Explorer backslash thumbcache underscore star dot db and hit enter. This command will remove all the thumbnail cached files and you'll start seeing your thumbnails normally. Now, browser caches are temporary files that usually store information regarding the most commonly visited web pages in order to deliver optimal performance. 
But like traditional Windows cache data, these web browser caches can also interfere with the normal functionality if you don't clear them frequently. Now, considering the majority of you use Google Chrome as your primary web browser, here is a step-by-step -step process on how to clear the web browser caches. Open Google Chrome on your system and press the Control, Shift and Delete keys simultaneously. The Clear Browser Data dialog box will appear on your screen. On here, select the Cached Images and Files option and click Clear Data to complete the process. And that's it. All the cached data will get cleared immediately and you'll be able to access Google Chrome without any unexpected lag. Finally, if you're seeing any unexpected issues with your browser or a particular website, you may want to flush down the DNS cache to resolve the issue. When you clear cache data related to DNS, the system automatically resets the DNS and IP addresses. So whenever you visit a new website, you'll be asked to enter new DNS and IP information. To clear the DNS cache, start by launching the command prompt. Then type ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and press enter. This will clear the DNS cache on your Windows 10 and 11 systems instantly. So that's everything you need to know about different types of cache data on a Windows system and the best ways to clear them. It doesn't matter if you're using a Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, clearing cached files will ensure that the system delivers optimal performance. So make it a habit to clear the caches from time to time. In case you have any queries regarding cache data, let us know in the comments section and make sure to drop a like if you found this video helpful. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button to join the Recover It community.